This is an H and K USP full size pistol and 45 automatic. Has 12 round capacity plus one in the chamber. Or in your selected state, they'll have a, a 10 round magazine that comes with it. What I want to demonstrate here on the outside of the pistol, some of the appointments that uh, users should become familiar with. Uh, just kind of ignore this uh, attachment here I have by sheer fire. It's for different light apparatuses that can be added to the pistol. Um, the rest of the stock features here you'll see is your slide release, which also doubles here as your takedown lever, which I will demonstrate uh, very shortly. Also to the rear of that you have your uh, safety, which goes from safe, one click down is fire, and then if you were to continue travel, if it was actually cocked, it will act as your decocker, and I'll also demonstrate that in a little bit. And then finally, you have your magazine release here at the bottom. Now, that magazine release you'll see as I turn this pistol around comes across the entire base of the trigger guard and to the other side, so it's ambidextrous, which means you can use either hand with your right hand or your left hand uh, firing it to uh, release the magazine. And then there are no other appointments on the right hand side of the frame, with the exception being here the uh, takedown lever, there's actually a little divot pushed out or cut out so that you can actually push on this one when the pistol's in the, in the right uh, component. And then there's also uh, some aftermarket night sights here, as you can see, it says true dot um, there on the frame. Anyways, so if I simply push down on this uh, ambidextrous magazine release, it's going to eject the magazine. And there are no, no rounds in the chamber, or excuse me, there are no rounds in the, in the magazine. As also, you can see the, the empty follower here at the top. There's no rounds. And then also, when I bring the slide back, you'll see that there are no rounds inside of the, uh, inside of the slider and in the barrel itself. So if I take this and I simply pull that back, I can show, hopefully, kind of the viewers at home, there's actually nothing, uh, no rounds of ammunition inside of there. Now, as I go to release the slide here, I'm actually going to use my hand, and there's actually a cutout, that same cutout that's holding the slide back right now. When it lines up with this pin, this pin is one and the same as this pin on the far side, which is keeping the slide to the frame. So I'll actually push up on this, and it will, it will come out. So as I demonstrate here, I've allowed that to drop out, and then when those two, those two areas line up, I'm going to simply now push on the back side of that, that pin, and it allows it to pop out enough for me to actually remove it uh, from, the, from the pistol itself. And now I can allow the slide to continue to come all the way uh, off of the frame here. And so you have your polymer frame here, which is now as field stripped as, as we all get. And then finally you have your three remaining components, your slide, your guide rod, and spring, which are actually one component in your barrel. So I'll actually take the pressure off of the, the guide rod here and your spring. There's actually dual springs here to assist with the recoil. Uh, from H and K, then finally you have your barrel, which comes out right here, and then finally your slide. And so your uh, five major components that you have for your pistol, or six if you include the magazine, you have your slide right here, one giant block basically. You have your barrel, you have your guide rod and springs together, you finally have your polymer frame, and then your takedown lever, which is also your slide release, and then your magazine. Reassembly is simply in the reverse order. The barrel will drop down. Excuse me. The barrel will drop down inside of the uh, inside of the slide. You can see here if I have it back, it will kind of lock lock into place a little bit. It just kind of drops right in there. Then finally, your recoil spring, which sits. There's a little knob on the front of that and this, and that simply sits right inside of there and comes back just enough to be able to catch hold it with the two slopes that they have there. And finally, when I put this on the, the frame, I'm going to wait until this notch lines up where this will drop through on the frame and then I'll allow it to um, stay in place now. So as I draw this rearward a little bit and I simply hold that in place, I'm going to just take this and it'll allow this to drop. Your slide release slash your takedown lever will allow it to, to drop into place. And now when I release that, now the, now the slide stays to the frame and then the pistol is cocked. So if I was just simply to take this and to demonstrate to the users at home the uh, decocker feature, if I simply put that into fire and then if, if the user were to continue to, to push that down you'll actually hear a pop and then that's the, the hammer coming forward and you also see it in the trigger here. So that right there is your HK USP full size and 45 automatic and this is simply just a demonstration of the, of the field stripping of that pistol. Thanks for watching.